February 14th is the National Day of Love. And while most couples celebrate with dinner and roses, these singles found a different way to express their feelings. I'm Victoria Deal of OWTV, reporting straight from the battlefield of love, the Cupcake Wars. Today we were lucky enough to interview some of the contestants and we're going to see how they made their Valentine's Day experience one that they won't forget themselves. Oh, well, I got help. I got help from the other cooks and everything, but it took us a whole, like a whole afternoon to, to, to ice everything. Our, our chef and our baker, uh, Chef Andrew Green and, and Marilyn, uh, decided we wanted to get sweet on Valentine's Day. So here we are with over a thousand cupcakes. Everybody's welcome and we're just looking to have some fun. Um, we're going to see how it goes. We're having a lot of fun as a team, decorating as you can see all the cupcakes and it's going to be fun. As the day went on, the contestants felt more pressure. The judges would soon collect their cupcakes. His appearance, you know, how they look, um, you know, creativity. Well, I love the uh, accoutrement that they used. But it would all crumble down to this. What team would be the first annual Cupcake War winner? Team number two, come on. Yeah. Congratulations, Jen. Thank you very much. How do you feel about this? All this hard work paid off. You got a gift card. It feels good. I mean, we were um, competing against really talented people, but it's really, it was a little bit neck and neck, and I wasn't expecting us to get first place, but we did, so it was fun. Well, congratulations. Old Westbury hosted another great way how to celebrate this Valentine's Day. With singles here, couples here, cupcakes here, and fondue fountains, we had it all. I'm Victoria Deal for OWTV. Have a lovely holiday.